Dr. Susan Love, and I'm the Chief Visionary Officer of the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation. Our mission is a future without breast cancer, and we do that through innovative research into the cause and prevention of the disease. Inpatient Science is a series of videos that help explain to you breast cancer, how it works, and what your choices and options are. What is your risk of developing breast cancer? It's different for everyone, and a lot is based on your biology. Some people are born with genes that can help them fight cancer, and others have inherited mutations that increase their risk. The two most common genetic mutations that affect breast cancer are found on the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. However, there are other mutations that can affect breast cancer risk. Everyone has the BRCA genes. Their job is to help repair errors that occur in your cell's DNA. If one or both genes you inherited have a mutation, they might let some errors through. Up to 65% of women with BRCA1 and about 45% of women with a BRCA2 mutation will be diagnosed with breast cancer by the age of 70. About 5 to 10% of breast cancers and 10 to 15% of ovarian cancers occur in women with a BRCA mutation. Men can also carry the mutated gene and those men are at an increased risk of developing breast, prostate, and pancreatic cancer. If you learn that a family member has a BRCA mutation, or if you have a family history of breast cancer and want to get tested, you should first speak with a genetic counselor. You can get a referral from your gynecologist or your primary care provider. The counselor can help you understand your risks and what your options are for testing and treatment. If either one of your parents carries the mutation, the odds are 50-50 that they will have passed it along to you. Similarly, if you have the mutation, your kids have a 50% chance of getting it from you. Learning you have a BRCA mutation gives you the opportunity to explore your options for the prevention of cancer. The first step should be enrolling in a high-risk clinic where your doctor will closely monitor your breasts with mammography or other screening tools. Preventative surgery is another option to consider and includes removing both ovaries and or both breasts. Removing your breasts reduces breast cancer risk only, while removing your ovaries decreases your risk of both breast and ovarian cancer. You should check your insurance. Most policies cover genetic counseling and testing for women and men who are at high risk of having a BRCA mutation. Testing positive is not an emergency and doesn't mean you're destined to get breast cancer. It just means you're at higher risk and can decide the best monitoring program for you. Testing negative for a mutation does not mean you will never get breast cancer. It just means you have the same risk as the average man or woman. Either way, for those with a family history of the disease, understanding your genetics and how they affect your cancer risk can be important in deciding on the best plan to help protect you and your health. The Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation is dedicated to a future without breast cancer. And we do this through innovative research into the cause and prevention of the disease. We ask you to join us at drsusanloveresearch.org. You can participate in our research, you can support our research, because if we all work together, we can be the generation that ends breast cancer.